Today we're going to take on two topics that are sort of related to each other, almost opposites of one another. The first one is percent composition. Percent composition is the list of the masses of each element in a compound expressed as a percent of the total mass of the whole compound. So if you have a compound that's made of hydrogen and oxygen, let's say, the percent composition is going to be what percent of it by weight or by mass is hydrogen and what percent is oxygen. To find percent composition, one way that we often do this is by a formula. It can also be done in the lab, and we'll do an experiment probably where we'll do that. But from a formula, you can determine the percent composition for comparison purposes, and this is a good way of identifying what kind of a compound you have. The first thing to do is multiply the molar mass of each element in the compound by the subscript on the element. So, for example, let's say the compound was H2O. I would take two times the molar mass of hydrogen, and I would take one time the molar mass of oxygen. Then, once you've got that figured out, you know all the mass of everything that's in there. Just sum them all up to get the total. So using the example that we were just looking at with H2O, I would have two times the molar mass of hydrogen, which is 1.008, and that'll give me 2.016, and then one times the molar mass of oxygen, which is obviously just 15.999. That's how many grams of hydrogen, that's how many grams of oxygen. Now, if I sum this up, I'll get the mass of the whole thing, 18.015 grams per mole. And that's the molar mass of the whole compound. Then the third thing you want to do is take for each element its mass divided by the whole mass of the compound that you just found. So in the last one, we found that the hydrogen had a total mass of 2.016 grams. The whole compound was 18.015 grams, and then to express this as a percent, I just multiply by 100 and change the unit to percent. Let's do an example. The compound that we're doing here is H2SO4. So we're going to have, for hydrogen, two times its molar mass. For sulfur, we're going to have one times its molar mass. And for oxygen, we'll have four times its molar mass. Well, let's look these individual compounds up. Here's hydrogen. And we can see its molar mass is 1.008, approximately. So we'll put down 1.008 grams for every mole. And then sulfur, let's look that up. We can see that the molar mass of sulfur is 32.066. So we'll put that in there, 1 times 32.066. And then oxygen, we'll look up its molar mass. And it's 15.999. So we're multiplying 4 by 15.999 grams. This is going to give us 2.016 grams. That's the total mass of hydrogen in the compound. Total mass of sulfur is 32.066 because subscript of 1. And the total mass of oxygen is 4 times 15.999. That comes out to 63.996 grams. Now, if we add that all up, we come up with 98.076 grams. That's the total mass of a mole of H2SO4. Out of that, some is hydrogen, some is sulfur, and some is oxygen. So our next job is to determine how much of each. Now to find what percent is hydrogen, we would take the mass of hydrogen, 2.016 grams, and divide by the total mass of the compound, which we found is 98.076 grams. And then we're going to express this as a percent by multiplying by 100%. This comes out to 2.056%. Notice I'm keeping all the significant figures that I have in the 2.016. If we want to do the same thing for the rest of the compounds, sulfur has a total mass of 32.066 grams. And we would again divide by 98.076 grams, which is the total. Multiplying that by 100%, we'll get a percentage. It's 32 0.693%. Again, I'm keeping five sig figs because that's what I have in the mass of sulfur. For oxygen, same thing. The total mass of oxygen we know is 63.996 grams, and we're dividing by the total 98.076 grams and expressing it as a percent. And this comes out to 65.251%. Now, there's a sort of an automatic check that you can do. You can roughly, in your head, add up these percentages. And if you've accounted for all the elements, they should add up to about 100. Well, here we've got 65 and 32. That'd be about 97. And this is about 33, really, so about 98. And 2 would be about 100. So 
This is probably right. Let's try another example. This is acetic acid, HC2H3O2. Let's figure it out. Okay, our compound is HC2H3O2. If we account for all the hydrogen here, we've actually got four atoms of hydrogen. Subscript three here and subscript one implied there. So we'd be multiplying that by the molar mass of hydrogen, 1.008 grams per mole, we found in the last example. We have carbon in this compound. Carbon is 2, subscript of 2. We have to find out its molar mass. When we click on carbon, we see that it's 12.011 approximately grams in a mole. So I'll multiply 2 by 12.011 grams to get the total mass of carbon. And the other compound that's in here is oxygen. There are two moles of oxygen in a mole of this compound. And oxygen, we looked at before, it's 15.999 grams for every mole. So when we multiply these out, for hydrogen, we're going to get 4.032 grams. For carbon, we're going to get 24.022 grams. And for oxygen, we'll end up with 31.998 grams. We sum the whole amount, we'll get the total mass of one mole of acetic acid. And that comes out to 60. 0 0.052 grams. So now to find the percent of each one of these compounds, well for hydrogen we would take 4.032 and divide by that 60.052 grams. And we'd want to express that as a percent by multiplying by 100. For carbon, we'll take 24.022 grams and divide by 60.052 grams. And we'll express that as a percent. And then for oxygen, 31.998 grams divided by 60.052 grams, again, and then multiplying that by 100%. Here's what we get. For the hydrogen, we'll find that we have 6.714% hydrogen. Carbon is 40.002%. And oxygen makes up 53.284% percent of the compound by mass. 53 and 40 is about 93 and approximately 7 is about 100 so probably everything's right. You try this one. What's the percent composition of calcium carbonate? Grab your periodic table and your calculator and get to work. Okay here's your answer. <laughs> calcium we've got one mole because the subscript is one. And if you looked up the molar mass of calcium, you found out it was 40.08 grams for every mole. And so that gives you a total mass of calcium of 40.08 grams. For carbon, well, there's again 1 times 12.011 grams for every mole of carbon. And that gives us a mass of carbon of 12.011 grams. For oxygen, there are 3 moles, subscript 3, and that's 15.999 grams for every mole of that. And this comes out to 47.997 grams. So to find the total mass of calcium carbonate in one mole, we'll just sum these three up. And it comes out to 100.088 grams. What's the percent composition? Well, for calcium, 40.08 grams divided by 100.088 grams multiplied by 100 is going to give me my percent. And that comes out to 40.04%. For carbon, it's going to be 12.011 grams divided by the same total, 100.088 grams, again expressed as a percent. That's 12.000%. For oxygen, 47.997 grams over the total, 100.088 grams. And then I'm going to multiply that by 100% to express it as a percentage. And that comes out to 47.955%. So there's our percent composition. It's this list of percents by mass of each element in that compound. Try this one. This Here we're only looking for the oxygen percent by mass. Here's your answer. To find the total, we need to account for everything. So for hydrogen, we've got 2 times 1.008 
grams because that's the molar mass of hydrogen, and that's 2.016 grams. For carbon, we're going to have 1 times 12.011 grams, the molar mass of carbon. So that's obviously just 12.011. And then for oxygen, we'll have 3 times 15.999 grams. And that comes out to 47.997 grams. When we sum this all up, we'll have 62.024 grams total. So the percent by mass, well, we're only looking for oxygen. And that's 47.997 grams of oxygen in a total mass of 62.024 grams for the whole compound. So it's going to be a pretty high percentage. And we find out that, in fact, it's 77.385% to five significant figures. The percent by mass is a consistent physical property of a substance. Once you know what the formula is, once you know what the percent composition is, it's always that percent composition. And so that means we can use it as a problem-solving tool in dimensional analysis and in proportions as well. Like here's an example. What mass of sulfur is present in 2.60 grams of H2SO4? Well, when we did the problem for H2SO4, we found out what the percent by mass of sulfur was. And it's 32.693%, which means 32.693 grams of sulfur for 100 grams of H2SO4. So as a proportion, we could say if we had 2.60 grams of H2SO4, X grams of sulfur would be present. We find the answer by cross-multiplying and dividing, and x turns out to be 0 0.850 grams of sulfur. Let's try this one by using dimensional analysis. The question says, 50 grams of carbon are obtained from a sample of acetic acid. What was the mass of the sample? Well, a key piece of information was, would be, what is the percent by mass of carbon in HC2H3O2. And we calculated that and we found out that it's 40.002% carbon. So here's how we can use this in dimensional analysis. Like in all dimensional analysis problems, we start out by writing down the given information, 50.00 grams of carbon. What's our target? Well, we want to know how many grams of the whole sample, hc 2 H3O2 was present. Well, here's where we go with this. We know that it's 40.002% carbon. That means there are 40.002 grams of carbon in every 100 grams of the compound HC2H3O2. Now, sig fig wise, this 100 is an exact number, or at least it's as many significant figures as we know the 40.002. Well, we've converted now. Grams of carbon cancel out. Grams of acetic acid are in the answer. And so all we have to do is multiply and divide. Four sig figs are in our answer. It's 125.0 grams of acetic acid.